Verse 8, verse 9. He causes the war to end throughout the earth, breaking and burning every weapon. Verse 10, stand silent, stand silent, know that I am God. That, that's a lot of our problem. We need to be still. Be still. And know that he's God. A lot of times we try to take control. We try to take the hand, but you need to stand silent and let God be God. How, how the saying go, let go and let, and let God. God. That's yeah. what you need to do? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He says, stand silent, know that I am God. I will be honored by every nation in the world. Yes. Yeah. The commander of the heavenly armies is here among us. He, the God of Jacob, has come to rescue us. Yes. And we in the New Testament can say that he has rescued us. Yes. Amen? Amen. Amen? Now the writer here expressed confidence in God's ability to save us. What, what is your confidence in? Do you have confidence in God's ability to save you? Yes. Because if you do, when circumstances arise, then you won't allow fear to overcome you. Fear will come, yes. but it does not have to overcome. overcome. Right. It only overcomes because of a lack of confidence That's right. in God concerning that situation. You know, Brother Chuck, I think it was Brother Chuck, Sunday, was talking about uh, who is Jesus to you? Mm -hmm. Who is he to you? Is he your Savior only? Is he your Redeemer only? You know, we're going to go to the verse. I'm kind of just trying to, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. We probably won't make it tonight. But we're going to read in 1 John chapter 5 where it says, that uh, he that is born of God mm -hmm. has overcome the world. Yeah, and right. and yeah. it's our faith that does it, and it's faith in Christ, right? Mm -hmm. And what we have to do is we have to believe that Jesus is the Son of God and everything that that encompasses. Yeah. So do you believe that when sickness type attack you, do you believe that by his stripes you're healed? Yes. Yes. Is Jesus your healer? Yes, yes. Yes. You understand? See, this is how you have the victory. If you don't believe that, then you won't receive that. That's right. It's just that simple. Whatever, whatever the problem is will dominate you or overcome you because Jesus is not that in your life. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, yeah. sir. All right. The writer, like I said, expressed confidence in God's ability. When we have confidence in God, do you know we don't even have to stay up at night? Mm -hmm. yeah. A lot of people can't sleep because they have things they're worrying about and fear sets in. Yeah. But when you... When God is your confidence, you can have sweet sleep. Yes, yes. You can sleep at night. Right. Let's look at a couple of verses. Turn with me to Proverbs chapter 3. I know that's not in your notes. So. Proverbs chapter 3. Mm -hmm. We're going to look at some verses here. And let's see what we want to be doing. <laughs> Let's start at verse 21. Proverbs chapter 3, we're going to start at verse 21. When you get there, say amen. 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 Proverbs chapter 3, verse 21. It says, My son, let them not depart from your eyes. Keep sound wisdom and discretion. That's talking about the Word of God, okay? okay. Mm -hmm. So that they will be life to your soul and grace to your neck. Then you will walk safely in your way and your foot will not stumble. Watch this now. When you lie down, you will not be afraid. Yes, you will lie down and your sleep will be what? Sweet, peaceful. Verse 25 says, Do not be afraid of sudden terror, nor of trouble from the wicked when it comes. For the Lord will be your confidence and will keep your foot from being caught. Amen. See, when God is our confidence, when you got trust in God, you can sleep at night. When we're up worrying, when we're up in fear, it's because you're not exercising faith in God. Because, you know, the Bible says in Psalms that he never sleeps nor slumbers. So I made up my mind a while ago. I said, if he's going to stay up, I might as well go to sleep. Amen. Somebody needs to sleep. And if he's going to be woke, I'm the one going to sleep. Oh, right. But you got to, you got to build up your confidence. Our problem is we've been fighting the devil. That's not, we don't have to fight the devil. He's already defeated. You know what our fight is? The fight of faith. The good fight of faith. We have to fight to believe that we have everything already provided. That's our fight. Our fight is to believe. So I have to do what I need to do to keep my faith built up 
so that I can believe that I'm already healed, so that I can believe that I'm already prosperous, so I can believe that I have peace. I don't have to fight the devil for this. I have to fight the war. I have to fight to stay in faith. That's our fight. Amen. Are y'all all right with that? Amen. He says that we have sweet sleep and we don't have to worry because he'll keep our foot from being caught because God is our confidence. God has to be your confidence. You have to when I'm gonna tell you something. When God is your confidence, you walk with your head up high, not arrogantly. But confidently. That's right. You you don't let the world give you your identity because your identity comes from God. Do you know people can 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 belittle you so much uh, and put you down so much that that can open the door for fear? Yes. Mm -hmm. See, and the reason why that happens is because you don't know who you are. I don't care. I, I said this before, and I'm in total agreement with Kenny Copeland. I can't begin to tell you how much I don't care what people say about okay. me. Amen, brother. I'm serious. I'm not, I'm not, you know, like some people say, well, I'm going to do that because that may offend somebody. If I'm in line with the word, I don't care. I'm being honest. I'm telling you now. I'm not, I'm not, I've, I've never really been one that was concerned about people um, hurting me. I used to be concerned about hurting other people. You know, I, used to, I, I didn't like to hurt other people's feelings, but I kind of grew out of that too. Because people, people, I'm telling you, our biggest challenge is people. Because you, you deal with people every day. Mm -hmm. And you can't let people belittle you. Just because you don't drive the, a nice car like they drive or live in a nice house like they live, that doesn't mean that they're better than you. That's right. Our identity comes from our relationship with Jesus All Christ. Right. And in Him, the Bible says we are more than conquerors. Yes. In Him, it says that we are victors. So my circumstance, my, my, my checkbook, my, my vehicle, my house doesn't change the, the, the Word of God as saying that I am a conqueror. I am royalty. I am a king's kid. When I'm in a room with a bunch of millionaires, I'm, my head just as high as this. Right. You know what I mean? I don't, I, I'm looking them right in the eye. I don't, I don't you know, when, when, wow. when a person feels intimidated, they, yeah. I'm looking I'm looking that firm handshake. Y'all think I squeeze a hand hard. I really squeeze that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I 